great happy sunday morning to you angels um welcome back welcome back to touch my tie hair coat um so y'all know yesterday was my grandmother's 76 78th birthday i think i don't know i can't remember but we had a good time i was a dj so i didn't like get to use my phone to record any content so that's why we didn't get like a day in my life vlog that we were supposed to get um saturday but it's sunday um yeah this starts um a new week i do my weeks from sunday to saturday but normally i do not record on sundays but this sunday i am recording because officially i will be getting my u-haul truck and removing my items from my old residence so if you're just joining me welcome home angel welcome home what took you so long to get here those of you all who are returning i am so happy that you came back i appreciate you i love you thank you for rocking with me it's your girl ty on the touch by ty hair coat and many other brands ty talks with ty the podcast uh divine prints by kt like all those are my brands but you're on the touch by ty hair coat channel so you're here um i'm going to make this um my moving vlog part one okay this is going to be my part one um and then we'll get back into weekly vlogs and then um and then once i hit the road we'll continue to move the vlog so yeah for if you're just joining me uh your girl has been through a lot go back and look at the previous videos okay look at the videos from like the last year and that'll then you'll see why i'm here but for those of you all who know why i'm here it's um it's moving day i'm about to go ahead and take care of a few last minute things the goal for today first of all it doesn't matter how you feel god is still and always worthy to be praised amen amen the goal for today y'all get all the big items out i have until the third to be in here um i still have to get the grass cut i want to get have cleaners come in and clean the house um and i want to get the his steps because his step is carpet on the steps so i want to get the steps of my uh, landlord's property shampoo so those are some weekly goals but today we want to get all of the big things out of the house and we just want to be fully transitioned i think i'm gonna leave my dogs here for the rest of the week and just come here and walk them so that they're not like disturbing my great grandma prematurely you know what i'm saying um so i'll have my dad's car this week so i'll be able to come back and walk them every day i think i'm just let them stay here and then transition them maybe like thursday or friday up to the house uh or up to where i'll be staying at i'm going back home for a couple of months so yeah so the goal for today we're going to go and get the u-haul we're going to hire some help and um we're going to come back here and we are going to start to move out the big items um i want to make sure that i pack put the items in a u-haul a certain way so that it goes into the storage a certain way so that way when i'm ready to move out of the storage if i don't have any moving help i can kind of maneuver the items and put them onto the truck the way that i want them to for the road trip so big items today okay we want to get rid of all the big items i do have some big items that our trash i think i'm gonna put them like out back and just have someone come and pick those up have maybe junk or somebody like that come and actually pay to have that stuff removed because i don't have anywhere for it to go so i think i'm gonna do that um but yeah let's get into today let's see how today goes happy sunday i'm so happy that you came back um let's get into the vlog let's go knock out what we need to finish and let's get into today, okay? Come on. <laughs> that was the baby that I just dropped off, y'all. Just dropped off the U-Haul truck, back in my car, on my way home to clean a little bit. Not a lot, because we're gonna pay cleaners to do a professional cleaning job. All my money is gone! The guys that I hired, they did a really good job. I didn't wanna record them for their privacy, you know? um so they got it all out we got it in the storage and we're gonna go tidy up the house a little bit 
put what I need to put in my dad's car, in my dad's car. And then we're going to my aunt's house to get something to eat because the sister girl has been wiped clean, okay? But I saved, had I got four movers, it took us a little less, it took us like two and a half hours to move everything from my house into the truck, from the truck into the storage. So had I paid for three hours for four movers, y'all, I would have paid like $800. So I paid 400 and I tipped each of them an additional 25. So that was 500. So I still saved. Three. Okay, angels, after a long day of moving, I am at my new home for the next two months, I guess. I'm about to show y'all where I'm gonna be sleeping. This right here is the house. Okay, and I'm on my grandmother's back porch. This is my bed. This is my closet. Okay. And this is the sunrise that I have every morning. Let me show y'all. So, I'm sleeping on the porch. This is my bed. And I'm telling you, I'm really... You talk about a humbling experience. This is my bed. But it's okay, y'all. This is my family house. But this is her little back porch. So, put a couch back here. I'll be sleeping here. Until my final destination. Godspeed. So, that's it for the first day. I'm about to get in the shower, lay it down. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I have work tomorrow. So, I will see you guys then. day two it's 5 30 in the morning and it's pretty cold on this back porch so i'm gonna make sure i pull my heating blanket for tonight because it got a little nippy but all in all i'm grateful i'm grateful guys i didn't sleep as comfortable as i probably would have liked to but it wasn't bad I just got to get used to sleeping on the couch. But yeah, spring break is officially over. I return back to work today. So, I'm getting up in a minute. I just wanted to check in. Happy day two. We have officially moved back home. All right, let me get my last 30 minutes. See y'all in a sec. Before I was so rudely interrupted, uh, it's Monday, get up and get you some, uh, 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 get up, get on it, get on the scene, get on it, like a funky machine, get on it. Good morning, angels. Y'all, we are in another week. We are in another week through the rain, through the fire, through the ups and highs, downs and lows. Stay on your tippy toes. I, or I ain't want none. I just kind of tell you I was back. How you horrors doing today? Let me stop playing. But anyway, it's time for... <laughs> Special of the day! So a part of me going through this transition is like getting back to basics. Because sometimes you got to reset. Okay? And we're resetting over here at Touch by Tie Hair Co. Um... Even though we're not talking about hair right now in this season of my life. But we're resetting. Taj Jewel of the day for today. Remain strong to get through experiences you've never been through before. Remain strong to get through experiences you've never been through before. Can I get an amen from the people in the bike? Because God knows. Y'all, I have left home. I left home 16 years ago. <clears throat> Wait, AJ 19. So, I left DC 16 years ago. I left home, like my, my childhood house, 19 years ago. Wow. Wow, when I got pregnant with my son I'm going to say 18 years because I stayed home for a year after I had him. 
I was with his dad. We broke up when he turned about two, me and his dad. And then I came back home for a year. So I've been gone for between 17 and 18 years, just about, about 17 years. And to have to come back, like, it's not cringeful. It's humbling. I will say that. Like, it's a humbling experience. You know what I'm saying? I, I didn't see this in the cars for me, right, coming back. But thank God I got a place to come back to. <laughs> thank God I got a home to come back to to save some money, my and, and reset and 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 get it together to get back out here again. Um, it's crazy how God works. It's crazy how the world turns. Uh, yeah, you want to tell, you want to make God laugh. Tell him your plans, honey. Tell him your plans. Um, today is Monday. What's today? We did today's Monday, the twenty second um, of April, twenty twenty four. And I'm on my way over to my old house because I still have the occupancy of that house until uh, the first. Uh, my dogs are there, so I'm going to go walk them, feed them this morning. And um, I'm going to probably pick up some breakfast and head on into work because I still want to get to work around the 730 mark. I have my dad's truck this week. He's still out of town, so that's a blessing. Um, I'm interested to see how this happens when he gets back and I'll be catching the Metro, but... It's all good. Y'all y'all already know. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Um Yeah. Last night was 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 cool. It was different. I wasn't in my king size bed. You know, I wasn't in my own space. Like humbling to say the least. But I'm grateful even for this, right? Because I'm ready to get whatever God has for me uh in this stage of my life. Right, so be strong so you can get through what you never gone through. Amen. Let's get into the day. Let's see what today has. Let go. I'm so happy you came back. Y'all, I didn't pull the whole stand down. But anywho, like I was saying, I left work early because I'm on my way to meet the um the landscaper. Um, so on my way to do that. Um how am I feeling? Okay, I'm almost complete. I think once I get to, once I get everything out of here and we good to go, like it's clean and all that, I'll feel a lot better. So stay tuned for the before and after of the yard because it's a coming. Okay, okay. So this is the front yard, y'all. Before, you really can't see how tall it is, but I'm gonna take y'all to the back. <laughs> It's tall from this angle, baby. You see me in this grass? You see how tall? This grass need to be cut. It's a forest. Y'all, I'm going to miss the hustle of BC. The hustle and bustle. You could call somebody up. They come cut your front. All right, y'all, so this is me going to my storage room that particular day. Um, I needed to get a heater on the back porch because even though the weather is like trying to break in the DMV area, the nights are still cool. And because I'm sleeping on my grandmother's back porch, I needed, I had a little portable heater. So I had to go into storage and get that. Luckily, it was not too far behind. As you guys can see, I have officially moved everything out of my home and into storage. Um, it was a fairly easy move. As I stated in the video earlier, I had movers move me. So it was cool. They kind of put everything in there the way I wanted it. So it was a really, really smooth and easy move. And that's me, y'all. That's our storage unit. Spending a little bit of time in there over the next couple weeks. <laughs> Tales of the Caribbean. Tales of the Caribbean. Yo, that, oh. For real? That. For today? Yeah. Then. They'll be here. Did the August 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 August
She got hers. Meanwhile, I have devoured with my plate. <laughs> she say? Share what? She this motherfucking bar is packed. I was so angry. You should have seen me in the back. Not like saying this. a word. I hope you bitches fall over all over that mat. Say, feels good. Yeah, I agree. Guys, no rats on the street tonight. Hopefully, hopefully, I ain't speak too soon, baby, because I'm telling you, if one run out, I'm out of here. Got the gang with me. They're not that much, they about the same. morning angels today is tuesday so one two sunday today is day three day three oh my god i'm going in late today y'all because i gotta let the cleaner into the house so the cleaners is coming today so i'm going in late so that's why I'm still asleep. Um, gonna be a good day, okay? Better too much money, I tell you that. Oh, all right, let me get up. I'll see y'all in a sec. As y'all can see, I'm just leaving my spot. Hello, Emery's day three of our weekly vlog. Um, whew, my stomach is on fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, it's on fire, yeah, yeah. Let me put y'all up here. Hopefully, y'all can still see me good. Welcome back, welcome back. Uh, so happy you came back. Oh. Weekly vlog, uh, day three, and the place to be is Tuesday. Hey, just had some breakfast. I'm going to work late today because I got to meet the cleaning lady. Ooh, supposed to meet the cleaning lady at the house in 30 minutes. Ah, uh, without further ado, uh, it's time for Tastral of the Day. Ty's jewel of the day for today. When you let go, you create space for something better. Can I get an amen? I'm going to say that again for the people in the bike. When you let go, you create space for something better. Let it go. Let it go. Let it flow. Let it go. Just let it go, baby. Let it flow. Woo! Let it go, let it flow, let it flow. Tony couldn't have said it better. You know what? I'm realizing how true that is. In every space of pain, when I decided to let it go and forgive, the healing started. The day started to get better. Um, I got better. So... This much, I know I joke and I coke and listen, first of all, you're not alone in your growth through and you're going through, you're not alone. Somebody is always going through something, but I tell you, you're worth it to keep going for you. Like life be life in for everybody, but you're worth it to keep going for you. Even like me taking a hiatus from my channel trying to get on my feet, right? Trying to figure out where God wanted me to be, what he wanted me to be doing, only for me to come back. Like, you, even you can't stop what God has for you. You can delay it, but you can't stop it. 
Whatever God has for you is for you. I hope that, you know, my journey, me documenting my journey, me doing this vlog is important for me. And as I have been reviewing my content lately as to what even brought me back home and like to see how healing has taken place and growth has taken place within me for me to be able to return back to a space that brought me so much pain and be at peace is insane, right? But it's not the place that brought me the pain. It was the people. You know, so... And those relationships are different. And I like this space that I'm in, but it's because I chose to let it go. I finally decided, let it go. It's the best decision I could have made. I'm happy that you came back. Now let's get into what we got for today. Come on. <laughs> Get up, mm, get your butt on up, get, get up, get up, get up, uh. Good morning, angels, it's your girl, Ty. And we are in the weekly vlog, and this is day four. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Day four. Day four of our weekly vlog. This is our third week doing this. So week three, day four. Okay, can y'all see me? Y'all see me good? I hope so. I'm tired. It's definitely hump day. I am officially moved all the way out of the house that I was renting. Nothing's in there. Uh, it's one bag of trash left um, on the front and um, a air fryer and a microwave in which I'm getting rid of. So I'll probably go and drop that off actually today. Um, Sunday... And I'll be officially done. I'll be able to give the landlord the keys next week. Sunday, I have, um, Sunday, um, I'm getting the carpet clean and the stairwell. So I'm gonna knock that out and then I'll be done. And I'm tired. Like this was a really big move. Unlike any other move, like this kind of took a little bit out of me like when I moved here I was tired but I was good like I was ready to go you know what I'm saying like this move I'm kind of like exhausted like period dot like that real period dot you know like finish completion type of vibe that's how I feel um and so yeah I'm happy to be moved out I feel like just a couple weeks ago when we started this vlog, I didn't, or when I started doing, started back my weekly vlogs, I didn't know how it would feel at this point. You know, I didn't, I didn't, I never felt like I was going to get to this point. You know what I'm saying? And now three weeks later, I'm at this point. So I'm grateful, um, progression. And now it's just like that hurry up and wait. Managing money is of the uttermost importance right now. So like, yeah. Your girl can't be eating out and doing all that. Even though I've really been enjoy, I just want to enjoy my time here. You know what I'm saying? But without further ado, hold on, y'all. Give me one second. Okay, we're back. And without further ado, it's time for session of the day. Happy on day, April the 24th. Uh, uh. Taj Jill of the day for today, okay? Every morning starts a new page in your story. Make it a great one today. Every morning, you get a new page. You know how many people didn't wake up this morning? I sleep up here for the past three days. I've been up here with my great-grandmother. And... It's crazy how God works because he really will give you peace that surpasses all understanding. And I think about her life. She will be 96, 97. Mother be, mother be 97, 96. She'll be 96 or 97 this year. And you know how relaxed she is. Just like peace that surpasses all understanding, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. I'm sorry. 
anyway she's up there and like every morning i'm in here when she goes to bed i wake up with her we talk we have our morning talks we have our evening talks we laugh and like this like this is a part of my transition the gift of having this and she has a lot of grandkids and a lot of great great grandkids but it's me you know what i'm saying like i'm so grateful the small thing so like she's still writing pages in her book she wakes up every day and she's still writing pages in her book and i'm just grateful that i get to be a part of that story i'm super happy and i'm happy that she gets to be a part of mine you know so be encouraged every day is a fresh start i know exactly what it feels like to be growing through life be life and you know but you're gonna be okay and where you are right now is temporary keep growing through like keep going i don't know what today has in store but i hope that your yesterday is better than your yesterday and don't worry about your tomorrow let's just handle today all right let's see what today got i don't know what it'll have but let's see <laughs> i'm so happy you came back it's a nice day outside it's nice yes that would be good Say hey, Miss Brown. You gonna miss me when I leave, Miss Brown? Y'all, this my work you. best. Just listen, I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna Facetime you and call you <laughs> and text you and see you all the memes, okay? Yeah. All the, all the kiki. We didn't crush the damn shit. Oh my god! I don't even want sweets, but she. I want some, y'all. This is delicious. I done turned her out with the butter cake. She gonna be coming down here like me just to get some butter cake. <laughs> Good morning, angels. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, weekly vlog day five. Thursday. Can y'all see me? I feel like y'all can't really see me. Day five. It's Thursday. Um, I'm a little later than what I want to be. You know, I went out with one of my homegirls last night. As you can see, the video is twisted. We might have been a little tipsy. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. These allergies is these allergies up here. Like I've been here two years. I don't think my allergies have been this bad. The pot like it's really aggressive up here. But um went out, had, you know, a couple drinks kind of caught up, talked. Of course y'all know I had to go get my butter cake from Dale Frisco's, okay? And my little hazelnut espresso martini. I'm gonna miss that duo so much. All right, so you're probably going to see that for the rest of my time here because once I leave, I'm not going to have it anymore. But um, it's time for Taj Jewel of the Day. Taj Jewel of the Day for today. It's okay to wait. Sometimes it's okay to wait a little longer for something. Why rush if you don't have to? Why not enjoy the journey? The dream is the journey. I say this all the time. I say this to people like the ups, the downs, the highs, the lows, the valleys, the mountain peaks. That's the dream. You know, I had I could write a book about like my journey. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure we all could. We all go through things, grow through things, life be life in, you know what I'm saying? But it's about getting up and figuring out how to keep going, you know, not stopping. I think about, man, my past three years, the year before I came up here, the past two years of me being here, now kind of understanding why I was coming back here because when God at first put it on my heart for me to transition back home, I didn't understand it. 
And I'm not gonna lie, when he first put it on my heart for me to trans back, transition back to San Antonio, I'm like, Nick, come on now, you know? And I'm one step closer to that, you know? But it's the journey. And having your hand out to receive whatever God has for you and looking to see where you're needed, you know, keeping that third eye open staying prayed up, seeking God's face in everything that you do. Like, y'all, yeah, choosing this type of life is not for the weak. You understand what I'm saying? Like, fall on God is, you got to have some tenacity, baby. You got to be strong to do this here. Because it's not easy. But it's one of the most rewarding decisions that I've ever made. I'm not religious, but I am spiritual. If you don't want to hear about God, this is probably not the channel for you because I'm going to tell you how good he is in my life. Amen. No, no matter what I got going on, God is still always ready to be praised. So um, I think just keep going. Like keep showing up for you. And you deserve, you deserve to see this thing through. All the hell you've been through, God ain't bring you this far to leave you. And I believe that something good is about to happen all right i'm going to work y'all i'm tired of working i remember the time where i didn't have a job and i could kind of get up and my content was consistent and i could you know like and i used to be like god i need a second income i want to get a job he gave me just what i wanted you best be careful what you ask god for because i'm telling you because now i'm like but i'm gonna push it through to the end of the year we got about 37 more school days so y'all pray for me Let's go see what today has. <laughs> Nutcase. Boom. Nutcases. That be, no, that be lit karaoke. That's like lit karaoke. Hey, Coach, I was trying to ask you to do that trip, though. I was like, dang. Yeah. For me, I ain't gonna do no Okay, so later that evening, I decided to go to a happy hour that's located around the corner from my job. It's called San Antonio's Bar and Grill, if you're ever in the DC DMV area. Um, this is down the street from my breakfast spot. Um, it's really cool. It's a cute little, cool little vibe. Got some good little margaritas and some little hand held food, some little Nikki pickies uh, for the Lolo. So I stopped past here to eat dinner um, and it was delicious. So if you're ever in the San Antonio, if you're ever in the Brooklyn, D.C. area, make sure you check out San Antonio. Yeah, yeah. It was good, y'all. I had a good day. Happy the week is just about over. One more day left because I'm ready for it to be done. I hope y'all can see me. Um, so this is the end of day five, y'all. It's actually Thursday evening. As y'all can see, I'm in my room. A little humble abode, okay? My little cocoon. Um, where I live at, where I temporarily stay. Oh my God, it's been a long week. But I'm going to go ahead and end our weekly vlog here. Um, tomorrow, I do have some things I'm doing with my cheerleaders. So, it's possible I may record some content and maybe upload a day of my life over the weekend. Or save it for next week's vlog. I just wanted to get up here and say, um, look, be encouraged. Like... Trying to figure out this thing is hard. And I say this to you as I'm saying it to myself. Getting back into content creation. Trying to figure out your lane. You're still living your life. If you have children, you're a mom. If you're married, you're a wife. You still have dreams and aspirations. You want to live right. You want to do right. Like life is life in. Like you are not alone. You are not alone. And in a world full of people doing so much, you're trying to figure out what shoe you fit. And I say this again to you as I'm saying to myself, I, no matter what I do, I want to be true. 
You know, I want to be me. I want to be authentic. I want to be real. I want to be able to stand behind everything that I do, all of my brands, all of my businesses, right? And nothing is moving right now. I'm talking to you from a state of everything being complete still, touch by tie hair co, complete still, divine prince KT, complete still, um, talks with Tata podcast, complete still, I'm not doing anything right now, right? I'm in that transition phase and I'm in my study mode. I'm in my study bag. I'm in my learning bag. I'm in my educational bag. Like no time is wasted. Be encouraged, you know, whatever that thing is that makes your heart beat, figure out a way to do it and, and make it joyful for you while being a blessing to everybody else's. No two people's journey looks alike. You know, it, 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 you are the it girl. You are the it boy. You just got to figure out how to, to be it for you in your lane, you know, and that's not easy. Consistency, you know, and, and, and showing up for yourself every day. And that's kind of where I'm at. That's where I'm at, y'all. And I'm just happy that you guys choose to rock with me through this. Like, I pray that you be blessed and just God continues to bless the rest of your week. Um, Yeah, this is the end of this week's vlog. And I will catch you guys in the next one. All right. And as always, it doesn't matter how you feel. God is still worthy to be praised. Okay. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.